This is Blood Sports. That's the most ridiculous I ever heard. With another prediction for UFC 300. This time, Alexander Rakic against Yiri Prohatska. My prediction in this video. Hello and welcome to Blood Sport MMA. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Alexander Rakic is back after a long layoff because of a grueling knee injury. He's finally back in the UFC octagon and he faces former UFC light heavyweight champion Yiri Yirka Prohatska. Now, I think I'm gonna leave the, ha the hat on for this one because the helmet, because those are real, two, two real Spartans, two real old school warriors. <laughs> so I hope the audio is not too bad. So, Yiri, what's crazy, the same like with Aljamain, Yiri in his last fight headlined Madison Square Garden, the mecca of combat sports. He headlined Madison Square Garden and now he's on the prelims. That's fucking illegal. Yiri Prohatska is on the, uh, the disrespect. It's insane. Because of one loss, he lost one fight in the UFC. One single fight and the fight that he lost, he was winning until he was losing it. You know what I mean? Don't, don't be fooled. Yiri was, and of course it doesn't matter because he lost, Yiri was winning that fight against Pereira. Yiri was hurting him, Yiri was taking him down, and you could still argue about the stoppage there, but uh, Yiri said, we don't have to argue, so we don't argue about it. But he's back now, and he faces a very, very difficult matchup, in my opinion. I think Rakic, is one of the worst matchups for Yiri at the moment. Because I'm, with Yiri, I'm not afraid that he gets taken down and finished uh, by someone. I mean, he fought one of the most dangerous grapplers in the division in, in, in Glover Teixeira, right? And he handled it very well as a middle Glover. And I clearly felt the tap. I'm really not afraid of that. I'm not afraid, I don't know, if Yiri fights, I don't know, uh, Ankalaev if that he gets taken down and finished. I, I'm really not afraid of that. I'm not scared! I'm afraid for Yiri if he fights a technical striker and there are no strikers that are more technical in the UFC light heavyweight division than Alexander Rakic. You might have forgot, I might have to remind you fools. Alexander Rakic is as technical, as dangerous, as explosive as it gets for a light heavyweight. I mean, the only other guy that is as technical as him, but has a, has a big <laughs> falling down is maybe Reyes. You know what I mean? Rakic is a phenomenal kickboxer. He has phenomenal technique and that's what Yiri is lacking. Yiri is very unorthodox. Yiri comes at you from weird angles, that's what makes him so hard to fight. He comes at you from weird angles, hands down, just throws an uppercut. Like, he puts his hat, the signature move is kind of he puts his hat down, which I never understand. Like, he puts his hat down and then comes up with an uppercut or with a knee or something. It's very odd and weird. And it's hard to prepare for a guy like that, which definitely plays a factor in that fight. In every fight of Yiri, it's hard to prepare for him. And don't get me wrong, Yiri can definitely catch him with something and knock him out. 100%. There's no man alive that Yiri cannot knock out. No man alive, born of a woman. Yiri has power from the fucking Czech gods. But as I said, Yiri is very Unorthodox. He leaves a lot of openings. His hands are always down. His chin is not made out of granite. He has been hit, hurt a lot of times. He just has been knocked out by Botan Pereira. You know what I mean? And Rakic can crack. The only problem I see for Rakic is the layoff because you never know how people come back after a layoff like that. Look at Tiago Maheta Santos, who Rakic beat by the way. Maheta Santos was one of the most dangerous guys in that heavyweight before he injured his knee and never really came back from it. He could never really come back from it. So that's definitely a, a fear of mine with Rakic. It was a long layoff. I don't know how healthy he really is, but he looks pretty good in the, in the, in the footage we see on social media, right? But of course, you always post your best in the social media. We have to be honest here. It's a three round fight. Rakic will probably have a one or two minutes to kind of get into the fight at the beginning because as, as I said several times, if you have that long of a layoff, you need the first two minutes to kind of dust off the, the dust, you know what I mean, from, from the layoff. It's good to be back! But once Rakic finds his rhythm, I really find it hard to believe that Yiri can close the distance and get through Rakic's technical striking. I think Rakic can really control him and hurt him with basic one-twos, 
with his beautiful, fast, explosive high kicks and body kicks. Like, he has phenomenal kicks. I don't think Yiri is a threat to him in, 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 on the ground. I don't think Yiri... He might mix it up and take him down, but I don't think he'll do anything to him there. I really believe Rakic is just too technical for Yiri. I do believe Rakic will just outclass him. I really do believe that if we see the Rakic that we know, that we saw in the past, Rakic will outclass Yiri from the outside. If Yiri really wants to, wants to push the pace and really wants to go for the finish, I do believe Yiri gets finished. It's only a 3 round fight, so otherwise, if Yiri stays calm and composed, which he wasn't too much um, in the rest of his fights, I don't think he gets finished. I do believe it will be a three round war then. But if Yiri really like kind of gets desperate for the finish and starts to open up and really go for it, which is definitely possible, I do believe Rakic will catch him while he comes in with a beautiful technical strike. So my official prediction is Alexander Rakic makes a perfect comeback and knocks out Yiri Yirka Prohatska in round number three. My official prediction, Alexander Rakic, round number three, KO. What is your prediction, guys? Write it in the comments. Am I completely off? Do you think Yiri will just hat, hat down, uppercut, knock him out? Easy. Write it in the comments, guys. We'd appreciate to hear that. Like this video guys, subscribe to this channel, it will mean a lot to me, thank you so much. Check out the Bloodsport merch, Bloodshop.net, best merch in the business, trust me with that. And stay bloody you guys, until the next one, bye bye, Bloodsport out.